Okay, today I'm going to take a quick look at uh, intercepts, um, and this would be finding the intercepts from a graph. Um, an intercept is uh, the point at which the function crosses one of the axes. So you're either going to have x-intercepts or you're going to have y-intercepts. Uh, so I have drawn a function here, all right, um, and I've named it f of x. And if I were going to locate the x-intercepts, then I would need to go to the x-axis, and I would really need to find all the points where the graph crosses. All right, so the graph crosses the x-axis at negative 3. All right, so as written as an ordered pair, I would have negative 3, 0 as an x-intercept. Then I would need to come over here, goes through 4, so then I have an x-intercept of 4, 0. All right, so it only crosses the x-axis at two places, so I have two x-intercepts. All right, now for the y Intercepts, I would need to come to the y-axis, it's my y-axis, and find where it crosses. It crosses at 2, and so then I have an x-intercept of 0, 2. All right, now, um, I do have down here a little note that intercepts should be written as ordered pairs. I just always feel like they are because it literally is the point at which the graph crosses one of the axes. So therefore, I like it written as points. All right, however, you do need to know that some textbooks, as well as um, some maybe multiple choice tests that you might be doing, might show the x-intercepts as, like say, x equals negative 3, x equals 4, all right, y equals 2. All right, a lot of textbooks and a lot of multiple choice tests will do that, especially if you're doing one online, okay? But just so that you um, understand the concept of what an x and a y-intercept is and being able to find them from a graph, then uh, you should be pretty good. All right, thanks for watching.